the format of being robot. Warning, this episode contains descriptions of abuse, schizophrenia, and talks of police brutality. If you are uncomfortable listening to this, skip this episode and carry on to the final series finale. Viewer discretion is heavily advised. Episode 4 is the near ending of the infamous cartoon series, Robotronical. So far, the series set itself as a CG spastic dark morbid cartoon series made by the director of Battlestar Galactica and the writer of Farscape during Detroit's Comic Con. The voice mixer, Ralph Jaredith Jensen, was questioned on details of the fourth episode. Ralph said the following. Episode 4 is where things are gonna go dark. We would be talking about some dark topics unlike anything we've ever talked. However, we aren't gonna do the whole flashback cliché. We would focus more on backstories of the characters, give you guys a look into each of the characters' stories, and how they joined Robotronicle. Sprung Free Studios also released a deleted community post, saying that half of the ARG was true. It wasn't Yu-Gi-Oh, but it was archived VHS footage of 1980s promotional commercials of Halloween movies like Friday the 13th or Halloween. Again, this story of the ARG will be mentioned after we finish up the extensive story of Robotronical. TMNT Fan 1514, Neversoft Fan 2004 and Charlie the Chain Shop Studios all collectively uploaded three parts of Episode 4 before TNT Animations released Episode 4 in its full episode glory. Before the episode started, it showed the same warning mentioned in the beginning, this is the last warning before carrying on. Still here? Let's dive right in. The episode continued from the last episode, with the three falling into a dark pit, only lights being old-fashioned electric torches illuminating the pit. After everyone got up, everyone sat collectively in a corner, defining silence, accompanied by the occasional hum of the torch. T-700's voice, yet again, changed. This time, people said he sounded like a singing robot voice, others said he sounded like he was laughing, and, the most disturbing, he sounded deranged. But, everyone collectively said he did sound like he was a singing robot. T-700 started by saying, So if we're all gonna be stuck, why don't we all tell our stories on how we joined Robotronical, this goddamn city we call home? C-9 started off by saying, well, I'm a TX-456 robot with a titanium motherboard, a GXC-34 processor. In life, my dad died because of a schizophrenia episode. My mother was abusive to me and my sister, and I had to escape the cops. The only way was here. A soft robotic sign was heard. I was born differently. F rank started. My mom and dad died of a car accident, but my grandfather was wrongfully executed via electric chair. The only reason why I joined this city was because a group of robotic rebellions burnt my house. My only home was this butcher shop. C9 gasps. But you've told us that you had money. Shut up, Rust Bucket. He had it rough, even as bad as all of us. T700 said. You know. C9 started. It really isn't gonna prove anything except that you're worse than my mom. Shut up. T700 shouted. Enough. A booming voice echoed from F rank as the two stopped immediately. Are you isn't gonna help us get out of this pit? F rank said, looking around the pit. F rank is right. T700 said, joining F rank in looking. 
C9 was about to object, but didn't bother and looked around as well. About five minutes later, a voice was heard. It sounded like it came from the ceiling, and sounded like a pipe organ robot. Two loud clicks were heard as the pit wall opened up like a door, revealing a bright light, and the three walked over. Before it cuts to the screen, you heard shocked voices from the three characters. What the hell? F rank started. The fuck? T700 shouted. What even is this? C9 screamed. It cuts to the same screen with the last name of the final episode, The New Gods of Junk Mountain. At this point, the writers, storyboard actors, and even the voice actor mixer were getting ready for the final episode. This is it, this is where they can show off their skills. Stay tuned people, the final episode is just about ready. Let's just say it's not only long, but it may end up being one of the most extensively creative episodes ever.